This could take forever. Sending 111% completed. What else are you saying? What else are you sending? Found this on one of my groups on Facebook. Ouch. Uh, yes. Uh, well, uh, what you will see here is that the uh, computer is uh, uh, broken. Like, really broken. Like, they, they tried on this. I'm thinking... Uh, I really hope this isn't the case, but it looks like they pulled the CPU out of the motherboard without releasing that giant lever right there. I'm not sure though, so I'm not gonna make too much fun of them, but yikes. Graphics driver installed incorrectly. <laughs> Man, I wouldn't mind NVIDIA GeForce now if it made my computer all funky. I'm kidding, I just find it ridiculous. I have to log in now to download a driver. I survived a car crash. Oh, thank goodness. I'm, I hope you're okay. And so did my laptop. Oh, thank goodness. I hope your laptop's okay. Hey, look at that, it runs. Well done, MSI. You built yourself a little tank. Actually, with solid state drives, uh, as long as the computer's not running, there's not a whole lot of moving stuff in, in modern laptops. Inertial force shouldn't do a ton of damage. The most fragile thing is, is yeah, it's gonna be the screen and maybe the hinge or something like that. Nice logo design. I haven't run wine in so long. I don't even remember if that's what it's supposed to look like or not. Like I know it's supposed to be all one, one thing, but like, I don't think those rainbow lines are supposed to be there. I degloved a HDMI cable on, on purpose? Congratulations, it's shielded. <laughs> Congratulations, it's a shield. Thanks for the warning. Settings, battery low, 100%. Charge your phone. Assuming this isn't a visual glitch, uh, there should be a calibrate battery. Oh, I haven't done so long. Somewhere in the settings, it might be under a, a menu accessed through the phone dial pad. Yes, there's a secret mode back there too. But it might think that your phone battery is either really bad or or it's incalibrated, so it, it thinks it's going to drop off immediately. Or it's a fracked up notification, in which case you can ignore me. MacBook Pro sign-in screen went a little wavy. Do we got more fun? Ooh, we got more funk. That's okay. This is interesting because GPUs and I'm, I'm not going to like pretend I'm a complete expert on how G graphics drivers works, but usually when, when they go wrong, you'll see uh, artifacts, stuff not refreshing. You'll see shadows of things like that, or you will see lots of triangles or like horizontal lines or vertical bars or stuff. It usually has to do with refreshing the screen or drawing the tri triangles needed for a 3D render of something. This this looks like an FFT, like a fast for your transform. This this looks like Apple Silicon going wrong. And, and now it makes me curious to see what's an Apple Silicon that's that's turning it into a lava lamp. I'm really curious if this like gets worse with heat or uh, I have so many questions. Anyways, this cable management has made me go insane trying to find what wire goes where. Oh, you have woken awoken the demon. I, I cannot describe how passionate I am about cable management. And it's the stupidest thing to be passionate about, but oh my God, just, I bought a label maker for consulting, but I use it all the time at home. It, it was nearly $200. It was, it was originally for, you know, labeling patch panels and, you know, hundreds of jacks at once. So like, it, it was within reason, but I label everything and I have color codes. If you look up Mighty Marks, they color code everything. You could do so much with just a $6 pack of Velcro ties and some colored spike tape and make this look just so much better. Just nothing else. Maybe some wall buttons, maybe a raceway. Maybe, okay, all right, I'm not gonna redesign this entire thing. Not for free anyway. I was charging my Bluetooth headphones and they decided to melt. <gasps> Did we get a spicy pillow? Well, no, no, we did not. That's that's not a spicy pillow. That's okay. First off, first I have five questions about the charge. Is that a tiny one of those super tiny barrel jacks? Okay, so it's a super tiny barrel jack that wasn't soldered well and was arcing. And what brand are those so that I never buy them? I cannot tell, but I, I no, never buying these. Windows moment. Windows has lots of moments. One oh five nine. Is is there a date and time format? Is is. I was I was going through all the time for him. I was like I, I know there's weird like weird epoch ones. Uh, that's yeah no that's just uh, that's probably a graphics card thing actually. It's probably it hasn't updated the nine out of existence. It's kind of cool though. I would I would put that up on my wallpaper. You could have just you could just put that up on your wallpaper and not actually be the time just to screw with people. <laughs> One of my brother's PCs. What in the. Is you know what? It works and it's not in my house. I also I also think that's what is that in the backyard background? That blue thingy. If that's an oscilloscope, your computer your your brother knows what he's doing and can build whatever computer he likes. At first glance, I thought that was anti-static foam, which is conductive and, and would just immediately fire. But eh, oh, whatever, it's not in my house. Not a good name for batteries. Leaky cell! Yeah! I can tell! I like the new Facebook update. Facebook still still updates? Oh, oh, that's nice. You can't see anything your crazy conspiracy theorist aunt is blasting about. I unlocked the new numbers achievement. That the, uh, the mm. 
Have you told mathematics about this? They get very excited about things like this. I like how it looks like some of them are dancing. <laughs> We're just having a funky episode today. Chips and dips. This better not be, oh my God, not this again. That is a waste of a perfectly good cup of ranch dressing. Well, that's a new one. Really? <laughs> I am so paranoid about this happening to all of my devices. I have these little magnetic USB-C clips on my laptop and my ultra port portable. Just cause I like, and they just magnetic, it's like adding MagSafe to a USB-C connector. Cause I'm afraid of this happening. No thermal paste needed. Famous last words. Warning, remove before installation. I'm not sure how you equated this to not needing thermal paste. Oh, is this, is there a thermal pad behind this? You would not believe, however, just side tangent, the number of posts on hardware gore of uh, PC installers and stuff like that. Building machines and not taking that off, like they'll apply thermal paste, which conducts heat from the CPU up to the cooler and then the cooler blows it off or uh, puts it into like a liquid cooling system to cool the thing down. The number of builds where they don't remove that pad and then they just like smell like molten plastic because the thermal, the thermal base is bringing the heat right up to that plastic barrier and the plastic barrier is just melting. I love our electricians. Ugh, oh no. Oh, oh God. What? Wait, 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 wait. No. Okay. If you're running wiring in a building, do not let your electrician run your data unless they know what they're doing. I think I commented on one of these in a, in a Lexplanations video and somebody in the comments actually defended it. Like, oh, that'll work for like 100 megabit connections. I was like, we don't run things that are good enough. We run things to spec. We find things that are good enough and we correct them to spec. It is called having standards and being good at your job. In case you are wondering, this is not to spec for a whole host of reasons, but wire nuts aren't designed to hold wires that tiny. Uh, you'll get crosstalk from all the exposed uh, twists. I, I could, I, I'm not, I'm not going to go into it I'm here. I trust me, it's bad. Why would the paper clips fit so perfectly on the batteries if they didn't want us to do this? Okay. I read the text and then I looked at the image. And when I read the text, I thought about the thing where you can put like a, a paper clip on top of a battery and it'll spin like a little tiny motor. And I was like, oh, yeah, that's fun. Um, and then I looked at this, that USB better be outbound, right? That is, okay. All right, yeah, I think it is. <laughs> I was just, I was, yeah. Okay, all right, you've made 12 volts of power. This actually does work, but I'll counter your initial claim, OP, uh, that there are multiple sizes of paper clips. And just because you have found one that fits does not mean that your idea was intended. I, I'm not saying it's a terrible idea. I am saying don't bring it into my house. Don't deploy it to a client, but you know, in a pinch, it's actually good to know. If you are ever in a, a really bad situation and you have a car charger and like your car's dead or something like that, eight batteries, it doesn't matter what size. The size is just gonna determine how long it runs, but eight, eight double A's, eight D cells, that will generate, that will get you 12 volts of power. And if you can connect them all up to a cigarette char, you know, cigarette lighter charger like that, you will be able to charge your phone from a cigarette light because you're providing 12 volts DC. No thermal paste, why? Why are we, okay, well, I, I don't think, Thermal paste is your biggest issue right now. <laughs> but anyways, uh, there's a GPU, an AMD Fire Pro something or other running at 511 degrees Celsius. Hang on, I gotta look something up. What is the melting point of copper? Oh wow, 1084 degrees Celsius. What is the melting point of PCB? 188 degrees Celsius. Uh, yeah, so I would make sure that there's nothing important below that laptop. While I'm Googling things, what is the melting point of human? Oh, humans can't melt. You'll go through pyrolysis, but uh, but yeah. No, 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 no. See, I learned something today. About a month ago, I gave my friend my old PC. I see no friend here. Only traitor. Peak cooling efficiency. Yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> little six inch <laughs> desk fan. Yeah, good job. Yeah, you got this. Everyone shout encouraging words to the fan. Yeah. Mom, something happened with my phone. It's always some, oh, oh, oh. Did you get shot? <laughs> What did you do? If, if you're ever confronting an IT person with a problem and you're hoping that they will help you solve it, treat them like you would EMS. Like, just be honest. It, the more honest you are, the more likely we're at least able to point you in the right direction of the fix or be able to fix it. If you're just like, something happened, I have no idea, and you know damn well what happened, just say so. We're not gonna judge you. It, it, it happens. Network cabinet at a place I work. I hate this place, bruh. See, that's, that's the kind, this is, this is actually not that bad. This is really, really not that bad. I can see the switches. The Unify AP just barely hanging out on the top. 
That better not be an array up there. I don't know what that silver thing is. The switch down at the bottom is pretty bad. Yeah, that that's that. Mm. Yeah, that's pretty bad. But as far as the amount of effort it would take to clean this up, this is this is like a, a like a 10 hour downtime window. Like ask to take a day off during the week, ask for a downtime window during the weekend, order some pizza, blast some music, put some headphones in, zone out and just and just go down the entire thing and, and cable manage it all. And then it'll make your life so much easier for years to come. Like it's literally just one day of work will make your life so easy. iPod is disabled. Try again in 7,035 minutes. Vintage Apple iPod uh, model A1367, 16 gig white for parts not working. I mean, technically it is working. I don't know if uh, if if a flipper zero could get through that. I don't know how angry the uh, the old iPod lock screen was. Found this poor thing in Colorado Springs. Ah, the Logitech Wireless uh, MK335. Is it bad I can identify that from half of a keyboard? Probably. <laughs> It comes with a mouse too, it's a full set. Well, now it's now, but, but it was at one point. Wow, I'm popular. OBS Studio is using the webcam. OBS Studio is, oh, wait, wait, wait. Discord Canary is using the, the webcam. Discord Canary, Discord Canary, wow, okay. Opera GX, why are you allowing all of these applications to access your webcam? Also, what notifier are you using for that? That looks sick. I appreciate that you blurred everything out except for the time. <laughs> little strip and she's like, ah, oh, it's time. They tried replacing their PS4 HDMI port themselves. Uh, HDMI ports are really hard to replace because there's so many pins on HDMI and they're all so closely grouped together. So, so not only do you have to be pretty good at surface mount soldering, you have to be very good about aligning it in the first place. It's just, it's a tricky repair. This, this is the kind of repair like I, I, I would pay somebody to do for me if I needed it done. Like I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even bother. But, but yeah, it, it looks like a war zone because it was. Um, and they've probably burned the traces through, through the boards and I I don't even know. Uh, I hope I hope they can just replace the logic board and uh, go from there for the PS4. I, I actually I don't know the inside of the PS4 well enough. I should crack open my pro at some point. <laughs> just built my first PC. Congratulations. Do you think I put enough thermal paste? I didn't want to put it in place yet. Okay, all right. I I'm, I'm usually so anti all the people that are like, "Uh, yes, this is only the correct way to do thermal paste and you just do this in any other way, you are a heretic." But this right here, you are a heretic. Prepare to suffer. Blood for the blood gods, skulls for the skull throne. I need the data recovered from this. Cost is no issue. Oh, cost is not the issue. I I, 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 re under, I know this is a recaption. There's actually no hard drive. These are actually really cool though. Uh, these are a line of HPs that had like a media bay in the front. Like it was, it was like a, a juiced up 5.25 bay that you could plug in like a TV receiver into and they sold all these little modules and stuff. It was one of the few cool things HP ever did. Cute dog! Excited dog refuses to be denied its pool time. <laughs> My dog is made of lines. <laughs> Maybe we're just looking at the dog very closely and he is made out of corduroy. Was recommended that I perform a disc cleanup. Is this right? If it's in a sink, I swear to God, I swear to God. Call on dead server drive. Need to order. Customer pulls out box and says, but we have lots of replacements. Uh, that's, that's really blurry, dude. Uh, oh wait, is this October 2000? Oh, I, I mean, well, first off, it's an IBM UltraStar, so it's gonna shred itself. Don't, don't even. Um, it does depend on what you're replacing though. Cause there are, I've seen alarm systems run on Windows NT and I've seen like elevator systems and uh, BMS running some really, really old. So, you know, sometimes if you have a raid already and configured in that, you do actually need a couple of those sitting around. On the plus side, I will give the client full credit for at the time ordering spares. When you're building a server, especially in enterprise environment, buy a spare or do it like if you're not doing like you know, full mirroring, or even if you are, uh, th buy, a sp buy a couple spares, because you're gonna need that exact capacity, and some raid boards are going to be picky about uh, the, the actual hard drive model and things like that. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm blathering, but anyways, yes, don't use drives from 2000. <laughs> Yes, I drive going backwards down the road. Oh, the switch. Yeah, the, the way these switches work is really funny. They they basically are a, a video feed injector. And then the camera itself is, is, it depends on the car, but some of them are powered up by the circuit that goes to the reverse lights. So, uh, so if that switch gets stuck and the video injector just like keeps feeding video directly into the infotainment, it'll just keep displaying that over top of whatever you're looking at. But the camera won't be powered up because you're not in reverse. My backlight died. 
Yeah, this this can happen, uh, especially on TN monitors and earlier LCDs. They had uh, basically they had something called CCFLs, long, very thin uh, fluorescent tubes, and uh, fluorescent tubes need a very high amount of voltage to get started. And uh, there, at the base of the monitor, there'd be a little thing called an inverter, and those things would would go out all the time. So you'd have a perfectly good panel, but it wasn't lit up. So you could either, <laughs> if you were poor. Like me, you could take the back off and just use sunlight to shine through the screen, which doesn't work. It, it, th this, this is a joke. Uh, you, you pretty much have to hold up a flashlight until you can get an inverted repair. Forgot the second digit. How did, uh, how, how, wait, how did you skip it? That has to be a GPU glitch. Not a GPU, just, just like a software glitch. What should I pick? Accept EULA? In order to create a server, you must accept Minecraft's EULA. Do you accept their EULA? Accept? I accept. Yeah, the, the, whoever this, I'm guessing, cloud server provider. Maybe another pass on your UI wouldn't be the worst thing. Found this mess in my hospital inside bedsheets storage. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, hospitals can get, if you're not super careful with healthcare, like, at you, you have to be, like, my levels of picky about spec and cable management. And like, you will not get downtime. Like, you can't just bring down radiology because you went to make the cables look prettier or, or, you know, I can't find this thing, so I need to pull trace it by, like, unplugging it and seeing what goes down. You can't do that in a hospital. So when you do install things, you have to install them very cleanly. And when you add things, you have to add clean, like you have to leave room for all that stuff because you will never get downtime to clean it back up because because people get sick and people being sick is more important than, than your server cabinet. Should I zip my zip? File unsupported. Sorry, example.zip is a type of file not supported by Slack. Try uploading a .zip version of this file. And okay, is your .zip a really a .zip? Because I think what you did here is, is you put a file inside a wrapper or you just modify the extension and it's not actually a zip, dot .zip. Is it a dot .7 zip? Is it a password protected zip? Then it's not a normal archive. Now, if you did all that, like if it's a normal zip, then Slack is just broken or screwed up on your computer. I found this beauty on a sidewalk and you should put it right the frack back down. That's a spicy pillow, the first of this episode. Windows 11. Oh God. You cannot delete this because the file exists. Uh, wait, I'm sorry. An unexpected error is keeping you from deleting the file. If you continue to see this error, you can use the error code to search for the problem. Error, blah, blah. The file exists. The file exists elsewhere? Are you an RE, uh, like, uh, an REFS partition or something? There's, this sounds stupid because it, it, it does look stupid. It's funny. I, I just always try to figure out what exactly happened. Oh my, that's why the internet is so slow. Jesus Christ. Okay, I did cover this in a explanations video and the number of people defending this. This split ethernet thing being like, ah, oh, it's five. No, now, I know it will work. IT is not about doing what will work. It is about aiming for the best standard of work. Save your creative fixes for your home network. <laughs> And, and don't even present options like this to the client. Like, it's just, no, it's not a, it, no, stop. Why is it so big? Why is what so big? You have the font size turned up. I have the font size turned up on my phone. You just have the font size turned up. And, and here you can see a very annoying thing about Android. And one of the reasons I switched over to iOS, when you change the font size, like, only half the things actually change. Like I would I would expect this to turn into a list view with larger text if I ramp up the font size because if I'm ramping up the font size, I can't see the tiny font size. It could also be a resolution thing. Uh, check your check your display resolution. When you don't listen to your parents when they tell you to keep the music down. I this makes me angry every single time. Mainly because behind this is a potentiometer usually uh, with, with a bunch of ridges on it. And sometimes they're polarized so they can only go in one location. Uh, but most of the time they're not. You can just pull off the knob and rotate it to where you want to and then put it back on. So max volume doesn't mean anything. And you just destroy the front of an amplifier for your ego or something because your kid likes, get them a good pair of headphones and then you don't have to listen to it. They can enjoy their music. It'll do not want to work together. Super spicy. Whoa. Oh, you were not kidding. Holy Satan's hot pocket. That is a bag of bad day. Oh, good Lord. You can see the inside of it too. Run. Yeah, run. That's, mm, that is full of some very, very bad gas. When Explorer starts exploring. Yeah, Windows 11 is not finished. It is not bad. I, I'm building a, a 
home server right now. And it came with Windows 11 Pro and, and I don't have drivers for, for the PC I got for Windows Server. It's um, dealing with it. The good Lord, it is not finished. 15 story hotel drop on an iPhone 7 Plus. Ah, oh, 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 mm. Does insurance cover 15 story drops? I mean, if you have Apple Care or, you know, device protection, it should. I mean, if it covers the phone being lost, that was always kind of my budget part. If, if it covers the phone being lost, even if your fan is only, if, you know, phone is only somewhat damaged and they're like, oh, we don't cover that. Oh, I lost the phone. Now what? I was tasked with fixing this. I don't even know where to start. I'm a kitchen manager. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, that's a lot for a non-IT person to fix. If if you are still tasked with doing this, uh, despite every, uh, that blue column is actually pretty well done. So I go ahead and uh, just like color code or label all of the ports on that Netgear switch. Line them all up so that you know what ports go back in so that you, your, your goal is to be able to unplug everything and plug it back in exactly where it was. So start there and then start working your way out. Color code or like number or something like that. Every jack to every jack and then unplug all of it. Straighten all the cables out. Start rolling them up. Get like six bucks worth of Velcro ties. Tie them up into, into coils and plug everything back in nice and neat. And that should, that should get you, get you at least somewhat there. Good luck, genuinely. That this is not at all a fair situation for you. Starts full. You've used all your 300 gigs of individual storage. To upload more files, uh, free up space or talk to your administrator. Current usage, 90.75 terab, terab, what are you uploading? 0.24 gigs of Google Drive. What else do you have? Casual testing in Python. Test failed one, pass 72 of 73. Uh, failed, 6% warning, roots CI something. Two, not equal to two, uh, expected two, actual two. Click to see difference. Uh, click it, click it. Is it is it a Unicode two? Are the characters exactly the same? Do you have a, uh, um, I think Python strips out the spaces. I don't know the context here. I haven't played around with Python in years, so. I have no text and I must scream. <laughs> Oh my God. I've seen this happen before on, on Windows 10 too. I've actually seen this happen on Mac OS X as well. I've never been able to figure out if, if, if it's going, if it's the text of the color, the background color, because as soon as you highlight it, it seems to refresh and all the text pops in. Or if it just doesn't, isn't rendering the text because uh, I think DWM, which is Desktop Window Manager, actually sends the text to the screen. I'm not entirely sure. I have to look it back up again. I like your background, by the way. That looks cool. If that's intentional. If it's not intentional, then it looks cool anyway. That's not a light. Mm, that's a fire. Or, or it's just, it's melting metal. Is that a power supply? Okay, I see some network cables down below. Uh, are these modular power supplies for a switch? I actually don't know what these are. They, they, they look cool, but... Oh, these might be internal uh, power supplies for a server. No, there's... Uh, I'm not sure what these are. I think they're power supplies. Sometimes power supplies go bad, and this is why you have redundancy. Who the frack designed this motherboard? <laughs> I mean, look, sometimes you can't get a surface mount capacitor in the in, in the size that you need. However, you move the trace to somewhere else so that you're not interfering with the ID. ID. Hello, nice to see you again. I understand you probably want this this giant capacitor next to the, the ATX power connector, but no, but n redesign your board. They are forming a mega message. Whoa, man, calm down. Whoa, man, calm down there, buckaroo. Slow down, mister. What is this, iMessage? Oh, it's iMessage with the multiple images thing. I think I've seen this happen before. If you share a link and you're going back and forth really fast, like the link will expand and it'll go behind the other message. I think I may be a gift card. We are all gift cards if we if we think about it. Uh, body type. It looks like a clipboard. Yeah, I guess I see I see the gift card now. It also looks like a flash drive and a little like, blister pack. What body type is that supposed to be? Guys, I think I'm addicted. Two player games, the challenge. Daily playtime. 23 hours, uh, uh, wow, 23 hours and 59 minutes every single day. You haven't slept in, in days. Good Lord. I am 10 to wanting that uh, it runs in the background and it's counting that as foreground activity, which concerns me from a security standpoint. This is definitely the year of the Linux desktop. <laughs> 
Using battery power, 74 hours, 32 minutes remaining. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Why is it showing hex? Like, right above that, just raw hex. You don't show raw hex to the user if you're trying to create a desktop operating system. Oh, that's such a Linux thing. <gasps> Tried to fix my laptop. Heard a pop. Oh, oh, a pop is never. Oh, no. That is an old looking die. Old looking processor. I've been trying out Arch Linux. Gaming mostly works. Mostly. <laughs> Wait, what game? What game is this? It looks vaguely like GTA 4. Genuinely kind of cool though. I, I like seeing the inside of games. I was a little hungry. No, no, we do not eat the ram. Stick of ram is not equal to a stick of butter. More expensive and less delicious. Garmin watch thinks I'm a colibri. Colibri? There, there's something in the comments for, uh, for the comments to yell at me about. Uh, respiration, 252 breath rate per minute. I'm guessing that's what that is. Mine just says breath per minute. I think. But, uh, look, I get excited too, but don't hyperventilate. Uh, you, you, you can die. Words of advice. Lexi advice. <laughs> don't hyperventilate. Today, I came home and found my laptop completely wet because I left the window open. Well, it's on the keyboard. If it was still running, you might be screwed. Uh, unplug everything. Uh, if you're comfortable, open it and disconnect the battery. Let everything dry out. Uh, you can go over it with a hairdryer on the cool setting, like no heat, just the airflow. Wait, 24, maybe Maybe even 48 hours, depending on how humid it is in your area. If if it can run without the battery, I'd try running it without the battery first, because then you can directly control the power in case you see any smoke or smell anything. And it might recover. It depends on the uh, amount of impurities in the water that fell on it. Now, if it was running and it's already off and this is just the aftermath and it's dead, then I'm sorry. But, but th these kind of things actually can surprisingly be recovered from. The network is down. My, my my blood pressure goes up a little bit every time I hear that. Even though I work in infrastructure engineer, like I build servers now, I don't, I'm not in charge of the networks. Uh, but it's still it's still just uh, uh, what in the hell? What in the? Pl I'm sorry. What is that? What what in the? No, you know what? I'm I'm good. I uh, I'm, I'm good not knowing what what happened here and and who you're going to find. Just all you have to do is look for a guy with a really big drill. I would look very quickly because he's probably running away at like Mach five once he realizes that the network engineer is coming after. Because these are probably fixed cable runs, which means they are punched from a patch panel and then they go to like an office or a room or something like a conference room. Uh, and and you can splice these, but they. They will never be quite as reliable. They can be. You could put a patch bay in between these two and like repatch everything. Kind of. But this is a lot of work to repair. Like this is this is a nightmare because you have no idea what cable goes where. You have to trace out every single cable and repair it or rerun it. I mean, fortunately, it's only it's only those also like there's probably some savable stuff in there. But it's it's still a mess. It's still mm, still a mess. So sorry. I'm so sorry.